I want to make the case that rather than talk about ceasefires, more UN resolutions, it is time to bring back words like victory and defeat. Now, I know that we live in an era of everyone gets a trophy, but actually the ability to get to peace depends on a clear understanding that at the end of the war, one side won and another side lost. In fact, one of the major lessons the Allies took from World War I is that at the end of World War II, there should be no confusion as to who won and as to who lost. Therefore, both Germany and Japan had to surrender so that there would be no discussions later as there were after World War I that perhaps Germany didn't really lose. The sad thing is that the Arabs, who were very much the allies of the Nazis, were not part of the process of accepting defeat and subsequent denazification. The tragedy of the Palestine Arabs, the Palestinians, and consequently of the Israelis, is that every time that the Palestinians could have faced the disaster to which their commitment and ideology of no sovereign Jewish state anywhere between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea, every time that they could have accepted that given that their ideology was initially to prevent and then to undo a Jewish state, that in that they were defeated. Every time that they could have embraced defeat, to use the title of a book about Japan post World War II, they were prevented from doing so. They were so-called saved in order to keep thinking that they were not defeated and therefore that they could still win. As a result, the conflict, the bloodshed, the suffering were constantly extended. The tragedy of the conflict is a tragedy of ceasefire. In 1947-48, when the Palestine Arabs go to a completely unnecessary war in an effort to prevent the establishment of a Jewish state, later joined by several Arab armies when Israel declares independence, that war ends with ceasefires the first in a long line of many. Rather than demand that Israel's Arab neighbors make peace with it, the war ends with a ceasefire, which means that the conflict continues. And as we hear right now, as has been in Gaza for the last many, many years, every round of violence ended with calls for a ceasefire. And what good has that done us? We are now talking in Lebanon about renewing a worse than useless UN resolution, 1701, that has never been implemented. On what basis do people bring it back now? So now is the moment to actually demand that this war end as follows. Israel wins. Hamas and the Palestinians accept defeat, defeat of their ideology of no Jewish state. Lebanon accepts that this war ends only in peace, not another useless UN resolution, not a ceasefire. In foreign policy, in governance, in parenting, there is a difference between feeling good and doing good. Feeling good is calling for a ceasefire. Feeling good wow. is talking about UN resolutions. It does no good. It actually does the opposite of good. It extends the conflict. It gives the wrong incentives. It makes it possible to just say, we haven't really lost. We're going to continue fighting another day. What actually does good, perhaps doesn't feel good, is to use terms like victory and defeat, is to tell the Palestinians, given that your goal for the last century was to prevent and then to undo a Jewish state, you lost. Accept it, embrace it. You can have finally a constructive vision of living next to a Jewish state rather than instead of it from the river to the sea. Israel has no territorial dispute with Lebanon. This war ends with Lebanon signing a full and complete peace agreement with Israel by which it commits as a sovereign country to never attack Israel, not under the cover of Hezbollah, not with its own army, from its sovereign territory. That's how this conflict should end. Europe has been enjoying decades of peace. Many Europeans like to forget how that peace was achieved. That peace was achieved when Germany, when Nazi Germany finally understood that it lost, 
it unconditionally surrendered. And from that clarity of who the victor was, who lost, peace, true peace, could be negotiated. And that's what we want for the Middle East as well.